Well, possible cuts ahead for the Cudahy Fire Department, and that could mean longer response times for residents during a busy time of the year. Kareen Zell, live in Cudahy to explain why this all comes down to dollars and cents. Kareen? Tom, this firehouse might be forced to close from time to time this month because the fire department can't afford to staff it. There might be less firefighters on the streets in Cudahy in December. The fire department blew through its overtime budget. Now they're left dealing with staffing reductions. The acting fire union president declined an interview, but said on social media this could create a dangerous situation for citizens and firefighters. The mayor disagrees. We're going to do whatever we have to do to keep the citizens of our community safe. The mayor says it's unique to have two firehouses in a city the size of Cudahy. He says station one might be forced to close two to three times this month. It isn't even days. It may be a matter of one shift to half a shift, depending upon staffing levels. The union president claims it's closer to nine times. One reason Alderman Justin Morales wanted to help the fire department with funding. Within the last five years of me sitting on the council, I can remember personally two major home fires that the place families on Christmas Eve. So it just happens to be the time where there's a lot of Christmas lighting, Christmas trees, candles. The mayor says the fire department is over $30,000 on its overtime budget. I took a resolution to the council to transfer money out of contingency. The council decided not to take that transfer. So that is what it is. Alderman Morales was the only council member who voted to help find the fire department funds elsewhere. It was ultimately decided by the remaining members of the council just to uh, essentially jam the fire department and make them still live within the means that they were dictated to do. Now, these cuts are temporary. The department will likely be running on less staff between now and the end of the month on occasion. Reporting live in Cudahy, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.